Live long and prosper, my fellow aliens. I'm Michael, aka Pandora Box. Today we are featuring flicks. No, not like that one movie you did in college to pay rent. I've seen it, by the way. Science fiction movies! A small best of because there's so many. Ready and go! Star Trek. There's so many to choose from, but the reboot had me all the fun there waiting for Chris Pine's Kirk and Zachary Quinto's Spock to finally fall in love. Still waiting. And I could go on and on about my love for some Uhura. Trekkies unite! Oh, and Scotty beat me twice last night. It was wonderful. Star Wars, a classic featuring tons of gay characters. Chewbacca, the bear, R2-D2 and C-3PO as the first gay married couple on screen, and Darth Vader. An angry queen with a thing for leather. <laughs> alien. A timeless tale of an alien hiding out in a spaceship that will scare the <laughs> out of you. Plus, the Gordon Weaver serves us lesbian perm hair realness. I would totally go lesbian for Ripley. Happy. Barbarella. This swinging 60s masterpiece features a young Jane Fonda sleeping her way across a distant future in her fur cave. I want to go to there. And Barbarella was a huge influence on me doing drag. Who doesn't want to wear fabulous outfits and hair and sleep with every guy you meet? Oh, I guess I do that anyways. E.T. What young lad growing up did not want to be Elliot? We all did. Also, this movie has sci-fi slash horror legend D. Wallace. Legendary! And how can you not love the film introducing a six-year-old Drew Barrymore just before entering rehab? Just kidding. Drew, I love you. I mean it. Call me. Please. Talk to me. 